Welcome to wonderful Prague in the Czech Republic, the home of the Mystic Skate Cup for the last 16 years. Today, we'll check out the street finals for you. My name is Rodolfo Ramos. I'm from Florianópolis, Brazil. I'm 26 years old. Love, if you love like what you do, so you're gonna do good. So let's find out how much Ramos really loves to skate. The younger brother of former X Games Park and street medalist Wagner Ramos is a skateboard icon in Brazil. Gugu, as he is nicknamed, is an all-around skater who excels in every part of the course and lands consistently hard tricks. Rodolfo began competing in 2000 and was the number one skater on the World Cup skateboarding ranking list in 2008 and second in 2009. Martin Peck is one of the four local riders competing in the final, but he was a little shattered, so he couldn't really show his full potential today. It's my life, you know, because my job, my everything. 26-year-old Daniel Vieira from Curitiba is an absolute regular at the Mystic Cup and basically always makes it into the final. Vieira is one of the most well-known names on the street skate scene in Brazil. In his 15 years of skating, he has won the title of European Skate Champion five times and Brazilian Champion four times. He takes a break to watch his mate Tiago Lemos. Lo and behold, another Brazilian do his magic here in Prague. At 16, he was the youngest competitor here in the street final, but despite his tender age, he tore this course apart. I am Danny Fuenzalita, and I am from Santiago, Chile, living in Miami Beach, Florida. I started skating for different reasons, to get away from competition. I didn't like sports that were competitive, so I just have fun and skate street, and that's my job. I'm like a street skater, so this is like bonus fun, see all my friends, have a good time. Danny Fuenzalita is one of the most talented yet underrated skaters you'll ever see. He claims he has a travel bug, which comes as no surprise seeing as he has lived in nine different countries in his young life. He went pro in 03, so he has seven years of pro status under his belt. Woody Hogendijk from Holland recently joined the Quicksilver family and claims his favorite spot is the Stalin Square in Prague. His mother and little brother like to accompany him to contests and give him some family support. It's nothing that I do before my runs. I just pray and hopefully I do good and enjoy the event. Tulio has been skating for the past eight years, spends most of his time in Southern California, and has gained coverage in core magazines on the web and in videos. He's been consistently in the top of the Dew Tour and X Games rankings. I'm a focus and I'm not, don't talk with another person. And when I finish my line, I'm so happy. Skateboard's my life. Next up, Diego Fiorese from, take a guess, yep, Brazil. Diego studies sport and gives private skateboarding lessons in case you need some advice. At the last Mystic Cup in 2008, he landed in ninth place. Maxim Habanich, local hero, first came to the Mystic Cup as a spectator, then as a contestant. Of course, he was well accustomed to the skate park and really brought the house down here on Stvenica Island. My name is Rodil Jr. I have 32 years old. I'm from Brazil. I talk with my God every time. So Brazilian numero siete, Rodil Jr., also a frequent flyer at the Mystic Cup, was ready to release his repertoire. He actually won here in 2004 and, like Vieira, always lands himself in a comfy spot within the top ranking. Final rider on course is Milton Martinez from Argentina, son of Paul Tatu Martinez, one of the founding fathers of the skate scene in Argentina. Martinez took second place at the Latin X Games in 2008, and although he had a broken wrist, he landed in eighth place at the Mystic Cup last year. 
At the end of his run, he releases a real jewel from his trick treasure chest. Amazing, and everybody freaks out. Time's up and the giant beer jug goes to Rodil Jr. Third place in the street contest. Diego Fioriza is thrilled with a second place. Oh, I feel so happy. It's never happened to me for me. It's a second place in Music Skate Cup. It's the best contest of the world. Of the world. And the winner is local rider Maxim Habanec. Amazing. This was my child dream since I'm four years old. So amazing, I can't even talk right now. So amazing. So now you've seen all the crazy riders from the Mystic Cup 2010. If you weren't here, you need to make it happen for next year for World Cup Skateboarding.